Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 95, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, and the longest title of the bunch. Uh, okay, yeah, so some of these titles do get to be a, a little obscene. We've been making our way through the Western Square. We've been mugged twice at this corner. We found out the doctor who can give us the information on the Jedi exile we're finding has been uh, arrested on suspicion of murder. Probably that guy right there. Um, and all the information we need is in the cantina. Uh, since the cantina is the only other place to travel in here. Well, almost. Yeah. Since the cantina is the only other place to travel in here, that's probably going to be my next my next step I grab the droid for my party and I do need to level him but I don't think I'm going to keep him anyway um, although again I need somebody with uh, some of the skills I'm missing Bowder keeps dying quickly so nah let me give him a chance but first first and foremost let's get him caught up so let's level him up real quick uh, we've got a point that we can put somewhere. Uh, adding another one to wisdom would be nice because that would help with his, um, with, with his willpower and perception. Uh, although most of the things that require will save don't affect droids. So I don't know that that'd be the best use of a skill point. Same thing with strength. He's not doing any melee damage at all, period, full stop. So... I guess it's really a matter of constitution, dexterity, or intelligence. And I'm leaning towards constitution only because it's a little bit lower, or dexterity because it's even st it's still kind of low. With an intelligence of 20, that, that gets me pretty close to everything I need out of his intelligence. Let's go ahead and get his dexterity up. He shouldn't be taking that many hits anyway, right? Find out soon enough. And all those skill points, so we'll go computer use, and repair, and security. And we'll get demolitions up. Now demolitions is caught up to the rest. And then we'll start dumping points into awareness. And then figure out what we're going to do next. Okay. Accept. And there he is. Um... The other thing... Oh, okay, that's a medium armor we'll have to check out for some of our other people later. Uh, strength plus four. Hmm. I'll have to see if, uh, my main guy can use that. Oh. Starport Vs is useless to you at present because it's key to the identity of the Twilight Bounty Hunter you obtained it from. Okay, so I, I suspect we're going to find somebody who can erase that identity and make it a little more useful, but it's good to know that we have it. All right, so let's go here. And here's my conundrum. We picked up some extra armor plating off of one of the droids and... Oh, apparently I already equipped it. A defense bonus of 10 or 6 plus uh, 1 dexterity. I think we're... Yeah, I think we'll stick with the, the 10. Okay. And he's already got the best blasters he can get. That's right. He can't do anything with rifles. Although, there is an upgrade that gives the rifle proficiency feat. So I might have to go back through his equipment at a later point in time. Oh, so I've already got a strength enhancer that does a strength of plus one and fort. I lose out on the bonus to fort, but I get strength of plus four. You know, I like the plus four in strength. I'll do that. Okay, cool. New equipment is always nice. To the cantina. <clears throat> oh, I don't 
never mind. The commoner is one of those guys that... <laughs> Let's talk to the bouncer real quick. <laughs> if you come inside, you make no problem. Many problems recently. Me make sure there are no more. So many problems, Biff hire me. So go in and drink, but no fight or kill. No promises. I won't start anything, but I sure will finish it. All right, let's head into the cantina. Well, okay then. I'm surprised there's nobody saying, hey, your droid's gonna have to wait outside. We don't serve their kind here. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong hive of scum and villainy. I, I do like the uh, the jazzy music though. Oh, <laughs> I heard a bad musician joke recently. What's the difference between a jazz musician and a blues musician? A jazz musician plays a thousand chords for three people a night. A blues musician plays three chords for a thousand people each night. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's talk to Gormo. Are you a starship captain or passenger? Please, if I could take a moment of your time. Uh, what do you want? Or, why do you ask? Yeah, why do you ask seems like the better question to lead in with. I am Gormo, Captain of the Twager. I've been stuck on Isis for over a week because some flaming scoundrel stole my starboard visa. Okay. Alright, and now these idiot guards won't let me pass. My crew's gonna leave without me soon. We can't afford to be docked for so long. I don't suppose you have an extra starport visa. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what's going on here? There seems to be a lot. Uh, let's start with there seems to be a lot of people here that need one. <laughs> you speak the truth. I don't have a fortune. I am but a captain struggling to make ends meet, but I will pay you 500 credits if you find one. Help out another captain. Uh, have you tried to explain your situation to the soldiers? <laughs> no starport visa, no exit, they said. Even when my crew came out and vouched for me. Mindless bureaucrats. I tell you, once I get off this rock, I'm never coming back. Um, Do you know what's going on here? I don't know for certain. The military has limited all travel throughout the city. Checkpoints are everywhere and rumors of war. There's no place for me. There's war and rumors of war. Oh wait, no, that's something different. Alright, um... I'll be going now. All right, so I've got a visa. It's not key. It's keyed to the person who I obtained it from. I'm not familiar enough with Star Wars lore to know what you're asking me for, so I'm just gonna walk right on by that one, literally. All right, where do we start asking questions and finding out stuff? Uh Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. The patron ignores you. He's enjoying his whiskey and gin. I don't hear a piano man though. I wish I could leave this planet. I'm hearing that a lot. Nice to meet you, sentient. Okay. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Um. Can I check your sleeves first? I knew about this guy. He lost a ship. Okay. Uh, can I talk with you about Captain Silio's murder? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? Uh, do you know Ghent? Know him. He's probably my best friend on this <laughs> planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. Mm. But he is a great drinking companion. I've known some doctors like that. I'd much rather talk about something else. 
Focusing on the negative is no way for a gamlet to live. Alright, I'm not playing Bazak with you. I'm sorry. Good to know that's where the action is, though. Alright, this appears to be the swoop racing den. Ah, uh, come to watch the races. And you own this establishment. If there's anything I can do to make your visit here more pleasurable, please do not hesitate to call on me. Can I talk with you about the murder? And it's a foul bit of business there. I was not here when it happened. I talked with the soldiers in charge of the investigation. Four of our regulars talked with them. And they're probably all back in that central room. You should talk with them. I doubt anybody else here would know anything more about that most distasteful subject. Uh, tell me about the cantina then? The cantina flourishes like a functioning outpost deep in the outer rim. Business is good and the race is exciting. Uh, you seem to be in a good mood. With civil war looming so close, people are always looking for distractions from their day-to-day -day lives. I provide this for them in the form of swoop races. Yeah, I did that a lot in uh, Season 1 when I played the first Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, the swoop racing game is a little more special in this version. And if you're not doing the restored content mod, it is downright broken. So, not not going to be able to do that when this go around. Um, wait, you want the war to come? Certainly not. If the war just holds itself in a pleasant, looming pattern, that would be ideal. <laughs> if things continue this way, the projections of my account and droid are quite intoxicating. Uh, but if a war happened, wouldn't you be shut down? Perhaps, or perhaps soldiers will come here. It does not matter who the patron is, so long as they buy drinks. Okay. How very mercenary of you. War could rear its head at any time, but until then, there is entertainment to be had. For a price, of course. What more can you tell me about the cantina? Uh, I thought there was more that I could talk to you about, but apparently not. I have nothing to say to you. Okay. This person ignores me. This person ignores me. I'm noticing a trend here. Oh, you actually have a name. Share a drink to General Vaklu with me? My name is Jonah Farr. John Rafar. Um... I'm just gonna give my name. Do you not support the struggle? The struggle? Yes, the struggle to free ourselves from the warmongering republic. Sure. You've been watching the news, haven't you? Free yourselves? I didn't know Andoran was a conquered planet. The republic doesn't seem particularly warmongering. I feel like I might get myself into some uh, rubble here. But uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, <laughs> we joined the Republic willingly, yet since that time we have suffered through many wars and privation. We above all wish a sustained peace. Sounds like the Republic has been bad, but the Republic surely saved you from an even worse fate. The entire galaxy was at war. Why would you think your planet would be spared? That's actually a fair one. The Sith left, uh, left us alone when we were not part of the Republic. Uh, they just didn't get to you yet. That's not the same thing. Yeah, if the Sith conquered... The Republic, what hope would there be for one planet such as yours? Uh, but now you're under the protection of the Republic with all its resources. You're safer now. Uh, let's try the first one. The prime of our generation has fought in two wars already. That isn't what I would call safe. Come back when you have a more enlightened view of the galaxy. Alright. Your name? What are you looking at, smooth skin? That sounds like an insult. Uh, by 
you a drink? I have one. Go away. Okay. Uh, look, I just want some information. Do I look like an information terminal to you? <sighs> you know, that is sorely tempting. You'd look like a pile of space debris? Just a few questions. Look, I don't like reporters, and I'm not in this for fame or glory. You want a story? I'll tell you my story. Credits. Raising on Andorin is dicey at best, but it pays well. Uh, there. Was that so painful? Why are the racers paid so well? Because the fans pay well. More credits for management equals more credits for us. That's fair. All right. Uh, I'll refrain from insulting and just go... No, I won't. <laughs> Keep it up and someone will take care of you permanently. But if racers are caught misbehaving, we lose our racing privileges. Why do I get the feeling I'm about to meet some more friends in a dark alley somewhere? Ah, we'll settle this on the track. I hope no one leaves anything volatile on the track. Yeah, about that threat. I am Bohemia, first class bartender. And the only bartender I see so far. How may I help you? Still haven't figured out what the Star Wars equivalent of Dwarven Whiskey is. Hmm. Alright, let's ask about the murder first. The incident has brought me much distress, and unhappy thing this is, and bad for the flow of commerce. What's your interest in this? An acquaintance of mine is being questioned. As would I, I prize my loyal customers, and he is most regular. Let me structure my memories and recall the night. Ask your questions. Do you know him? Y-Wing Reserve? That's the Dwarven whiskey of the Star Wars universe? I know him. Oh, nice. Okay. Alright. Let's see, what else? Bartender's duty to answer questions, and a client's duty to spend credits on needed refreshment. I trust both of us will do what's right. <laughs> uh, would you know where I could get an extra starboard visa and a white wing reserve? Oh. Well, I, that's not a problem yet. That, that, that's a problem later. We're, 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 you know, even longer ago. And apparently further away. Alright, you got several rough characters in here. <laughs> Some of my patrons I would never call friends, but as long as they pay I and don't start trouble, they're welcome. Besides, they can make persuasive points. So can I. <laughs> Alright, they seem little more than thugs. They are a little more than thugs, but what can I do? The soldiers are too busy with many troubles, so this part of the merchant quarter gets wilder by the day. Anything I can do to help? Please don't do anything. They can make my life especially difficult. We have an arrangement that is delicate. I am happy enough as it stands. Um, What do you know about it? Isis? Ancient cities, inner civilization, many beasts, yada yada. Quite wary. Thank you for the obvious. Uh, how has it changed recently? I've been here for many years. The cantina was one of the first built. Okay. More, more about yada 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 off-worlders, yada 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 simpler times. Okay. Um... Would you know where I could find an extra visa? A popular question. I will tell you what I tell everyone. Open starport visas are rarer than crystals. Only the very rich, very powerful, or very connected could get them. And none of them will give them up lately. Be thankful you have a visa of your own. Many here are not that fortunate. Um, I ha See, this is what I wanted to get to. This question here about, I have an extra visa. Know anybody who can do something about it? I would of course know nothing. Only an expert slicer could comment on such intricacies. But by a favorable coincidence, I happen to know a slicer. 
I've said enough for now. Okay. Uh, that appears to be everything. All right. You know, I noticed there wasn't an option to buy a drink there. You super soups zoom zoom much fun go. Yeah. Okay. You're that guy. Uh, hi. I do race swoop bikes if that's what you mean. Super is great. That's great. I'm going to go stand over here now. Okay. <laughs> Some coffee was delivered. Some Y Wing Reserve. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. That's all we got in this room here. We've already talked to Nico. He just wants to play cards. Leave me be. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, you have a name? I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? Could you keep that part down? A little quieter? Maybe? Uh, you look familiar too. Was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. Daggery Minor. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Uh, I remember Daggery Minor. No, I don't. But let's try it. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now. Yeah, I noticed that. Especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? Um, Jedi don't really serve the Republic. I'm out for myself, and not directly, but I try to lend a hand when I'm able. That's the first good news. Yeah, we'll go with that. I was sent by the Republic Senate to oh. certain delicate matters <laughs> that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. Oh. The days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starport visas. Okay. Um, so what was your mission? I really can't say. Uh, of course you can't say. Most I will say is stay, stay clear, clear of General Vaklu. Yeah, I kind of figured. No bounds. I believe the people of Isis are absolutely correct. A civil war is brewing, and Vaklu may very well yeah. win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. Uh oh. Um. You might want to travel to Telos as well. There's a Republic representative there. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention. But there are many freighters bound for Telos. Uh, couldn't you get a visa? My mission requires the most extreme caution and delicacy. I don't want to. I also noticed that I've only got one extra visa and General three people that want one. Above arranging an accident for me. Oh. I'm taking a great risk talking to you, but I'm running out of options. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Helping me is not without its risks. <laughs> I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I may be being No, not watched. me. You're almost certainly being watched. If that would compromise your mission, perhaps we should go our separate ways. All right. Good um, to see you again. Any luck with the visa? Actually, I'd like to talk to you about the murder. What do you want to know about that night? An acquaintance of mine is being held. I'm trying to get him free. Dagon Gent didn't do it. Oh, wow. You're, you're like, everybody's like, no, nah, I don't think he would do it. I don't think he could do it. But you're like, no. Nah. Because he was with me at the time. Oh. I'm going to ask why didn't you tell the authorities, but I'm going to guess that it's due to actions that are not entirely on the up and up. It's quite simple. Right now, he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say, assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. <laughs> I'm afraid the Ongaronians okay. are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. Yeah, but they don't know you're a spy yet. in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. 
I don't suppose anyone else saw you? We were taking great pains not to be. <laughs> Of Which course. A certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. Uh, thank you for that. All right. I'll be going now. That was weird. I think that was a bit of a glitch. Go away. Alright, so we got the named guy. He's gonna ignore me. He's gonna ignore me. Oh! <laughs> the Rodian forgot his blaster at the bar. I wonder what that's a reference to. It's okay. He won't shoot first. <laughs> you probably think Beth are good for nothing but playing instruments. Is that a comment about something? Right, you've got a name and you're just a patron, so let me talk to the patron first. The waitress will ever get me my drink. Ah, okay. What about you? There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality, unique weapons oh, really? you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber. Really? Crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. Oh, All I ask is okay. Give me one open starport visa. Uh, hmm. What does the lake... Oh, um... I'll ask, what does the lightsaber crystal do? Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Which can only be used by Dark Jedi. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? Okay. There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. Man, I got no one visa, extra visa and a crystal. lot of people that want it. Um... Let's skip and change to the murder. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers oh. were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Uh-huh. What were they questioning you about? Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. All right. That's it there. Alright, let's finish up these last few people in the circle and then we'll call it an episode. You're an off world, right? My name is Kif. Nice to see a friendly face. Hmm. A friend of a friend told me you're the guy I should talk about. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's jump right into that. So you have a personalized visa that you need to be made an open one. It's a tricky process, but after many failures, I've mastered it. It'll cost you 500 credits. How do I know that the visa will work? If I sold defective visas, my livelihood and possibly my life would be in jeopardy. Okay, that's fair. Uh, and any open starport visa I make will sustain security. Alright, let's do this. Because uh, I got the 500 credits from the same place I got the visa. They didn't need either of them. Alright. So now I've got an open starport visa. And quite the conundrum. A lot of people that... And a lot of people that want it. Okay. What do you want? Do you know anything about Not the really. I just started here. I okay. have to get back to work. Well, that's why the service is so bad. All right. Uh, you know what? I know I said I was going to call it after that conversation, but let me go talk to our guy, the spy, and uh, wrap that up. Good to see you again. Any luck with the visa? Because uh, I'd love to help out the family. I'm not selling to the scalpers, but I think uh, 
I, I think this Republic mission is probably going to be the best one to uh, to manage. Really? I've been looking for one for weeks. Thanks. All right. Here you go. You've done a tremendous service for the Republic. Now I have to catch the first shuttle out of here. May the Force be with you. Beat feet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Light side points gained. Okay, good. Some XP, some items, a journal entry. All right, that's the soup racing side. And that's the last room I haven't done anything with yet. Gotta save that real quick. Because stuff's happen. And uh, what happens next, you'll find out pretty soon. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because i do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any questions queries quips quotes comments complaints or other whatnot don't forget to leave those in the comments down below lastly if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.